Okay, th uh, uh, this has been like haunting my timeline for quite a long time. So I think I have to. This was made in the 11th of March 2021. So this is a relatively new, relatively new video. So top 10 Finnish players at the moment who are actively playing still. Fans, it's Billy from Puck Rivals here. Uh -huh. Just wanted to start off this video by thanking you all for helping us reach 1,000 subscribers. Whether you found us when we posted that random viral Rasmus Dalin video three years ago, or within the last eight months when we decided to become consistent with this channel, we appreciate everyone who's become a part of the channel and helped us achieve this milestone. We couldn't have done it without you. On to the actual video now. All right, We've let's go. We've got something new for you. Today, I'll be going through our list of the top 10 active players that come from the hawk. Okay. I probably need to make predictions in order to be like creative about this. All right. Who do, who do we have? <laughs> Again, I'm going to take my trusty notepad, notepad here. Uh, so I'm going to change the order probably, but I'm going to see Barkov, Rask. Uh, hey, it's gonna uh, run to an Aho. Oh, yeah, fucking line. <laughs> I wouldn't put Pulju Yarvi on my top 10, though. He's not a top 10 player. Uh, Teravainen. 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 What the fuck am I so typing? Teravainen. Ah. Oh. How about? I need to compare two people. Like, I think. There's an argument for Donskoy and Rope Hints. But I think I need to check them first, how, how they're done. I know Donskoy has done really well. But Hints did really well last season. I haven't followed Hints uh, that well this season, so... That's the reason I need to... See what he's done. Okay, wrong. Or, oh fuck, Rope Hints is third in Dallas. Okay, I think we have to put Rope Hints there. Don't Donsko has done really well in Colorado, especially in the past two two weeks or so. Don't Don't score twenty eight points in thirty six games. Hints has a lot fewer games, but Don't score is plus fourteen though. So. Mm. Yeah, that's a bit of a pickle. Uh, this one. Rope hints. Yeah, uh, with that set. Hints. Rope hints is a new. Well, he's not, he's not that new, but he is new to the like NHL scene. He broke through like a couple of seasons ago. Uh, will I be a dick and take the? Oh, well, this is like which one you take because oh, Rask is like a household name in Boston, but he's playing with a good team, so of course he's like considered the best Finnish goalie because of that. He's winning games, but Corpusalo is like more talented in my opinion. So, or I could not put any goalies in the list. Should I put Laine in it? Like, if we are talking about Finnish players at the moment, I don't think Laine or Teravainen should be there. Or Korpisalo, for that matter. Uh, let's put Hints and Donskoy. Number 10. Anybody who knows Finnish players knows that Rasmus Ristolainen is considered to be one of the best defenders at the moment in Finland. Like Finnish defenders. I, I don't agree with that 
at all. I don't I don't think you can put all of all of his minus stats on Buffalo. There's potential again in Rasmus, but at the moment, like today, I don't think he is in the top ten of Finnish players. Actually. Let's just make sure I don't miss anybody just for doing this live and like not preparing at all. More filters, nationalities, Finland. Get stats. Let's just make sure I don't miss anybody. Like player wise. Oh yeah, the Montreal boys. Kasperi Kapan and also. Huh. Yeah. yeah it, would, it would actually be a... Fuck. This, oh yeah, there's Kiviranda also, but Kiviranda is like... Depends on your... Criteria. Yeah. He's actually doing better than... Well, it's not doing yet better than Lina, but almost. Yeah, full year of And he still is, but <laughs> now he's doing something. He isn't like a first rounder by any means. All right, so we're, we're making this list on at the moment. We're not looking to the future. So, and that says like top 20, 10 Finnish players, best hockey players 2021. So we are looking at now. So we're gonna take away Line. We're gonna take away Terra Vainen because they haven't played. And we don't know their this is like if everybody's on their best uh I don't know. Should we assume that everybody's on their best uh health and best form? If we are assuming everybody's on their best form, then we can put line up back. Yeah, let's let's do that. This way I don't piss so many people off. Uh yeah, who's the tenth? There's two little defenders on our list. Ah uh, I actually would argue that Essa Lindal is a great pick here. Yeah, I, I'm gonna put Esa Lindell on the list. He's playing as, aside from Klingberg in Dallas. So he's not complete shit. And he's actually like really reliable. Let's put the music back on for the while. And now we just need to uh, switch the places. Okay, so I haven't decided the goal yet. Rusk is the best goalie at the moment of Finland. So we're gonna. I'm gonna probably put Randon in number two and Rusk number four. I'm gonna change Aho and Rusk. Uh, there are one line of hints, Donsko. Uh, Donsko is better than hints. But he's older though. But I still think Donsko is better. Lindel, hints, Donsko, line at Teravainen, Rask, Aho, Heiskanen, Randonen, Barkov. That is my top 10 of Finnish players at the moment. 2021. Like. The no, no brainers were the top, top four. Park of Brandon and Hayes can aho. The order, you can you can argue the order, like you can switch Brandon and Parkov, you can switch Hayes and Brandon and Aho and Brandon and Aho and Parkov, and it would still be fine. Of course, Parkov is captain of an NHL team and he's also the most uh, grown up player of these young players. 
you would actually you wouldn't actually believe that he isn't even 25 by the way he's playing <coughs> let's let's just check he is not 25 he's 25 <laughs> but yeah you wouldn't believe you wouldn't believe that he's just he's just 25 like he he looks like uh Datsu girl, like, uh, well, actually, I would, I would, as a Pittsburgh fan, compare Parkov's play and the way he leads the team to Sidney Crosby. Uh, the reason why Rantanen is number two is because Rantanen at the moment is the most reliable scorer Finland has. He's one of the best wingers at the moment in the game. You could be put Rantanen besides any good center. Any uh, you could put Rantanen in any team in the NHL, and he would make immediately the team better. The same goes with Heiskanen and Anaho. and all the top four. You can put them in any team, and they would make the team better. Rusk is just like you need a goalie there because well Finland is known by by their goalies. Uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room and why Line is number seven. I won't put him higher until he becomes more reliable. Like until he gains some consistency in his playing. I would actually argue that he would be number nine. But in his prime, he would be number seven. He is not as good as the uh, players about him. Teravainen is a fucking Stanley Cup winner. Not, ma not, not many people know that. Teravainen is also a great playmaker. He's, he's a great winger and a center. He can play both bo both positions. And he and Aho, make, when Teravainen is, is healthy, he and Aho makes deadly duo. Donskoy, um, he's started to flourish like in the last couple of seasons. Rope Hintz is a future future star, not yet, but fu future. I don't know. He's like a he's like a mix of a, a grinder and a dangler, or a grinder and sniper. Like it's, his playing style is really weird, but he gets goals. And Esalindel is like. Uh, Esa Lindel is like Nick, Nick Lidstrom, like not, not as talented as Nick, Nick, Nick Lidstrom was, but his hockey, hockey IQ and placement is a lot like Nick Lidstrom's was. Like the way he places himself in the ice. And he has to, because he's not the fastest guy there. He's not the most agile, so he needs to position himself right in order to be a good defender. So yeah, this is my list. I'm gonna keep my little list. Let's make it smaller. Let's see how how well we're doing against the person who made the video. Oh no, where's my fucking list? Can I can't I put the list on top of the video? There we go. Hockey loving nation Fuck. of Finland. They've always been good at hockey, but now the Finns are starting to really get to that next level. Trust me, I can do Let's this. Dive in. We'll start with number 10 and count our way upwards. Huh? The 10th best Finnish player. There we go. <laughs> to us is Dallas Stars forward Ruben oh? Hintz. Hintz is a big bodied forward who is capable of playing both on the wing and down the middle. His speed, combined with his size and hockey IQ, make him an effective forward for the Stars. His intelligence makes him able to either make plays or finish them. It's also worth noting that he has a knack for showing up come playoff time, which is never a bad thing. Before coming to North America, Hintz had some success at the international level with Finland in the form of a World Junior Gold Medal I'm in gonna 2016, put what he where he played put on the second line with Mika in the list. Lantanen. Obviously, the first line for that team was insanely good, but Hintz and his line played a role in winning that medal too. Before he was drafted, Hintz... I have to say that 
a lot of these a lot of Finnish play Finnish players at the moment are former junior world championship winners like we have we have created a lot of young stars a lot of junior championship winners in the past few years i need to take my list again Vince began playing in Riga the year before his draft year, so he would have been 16 or 17 years old, and every year he got better and better before ultimately moving to North America. At the moment, Vince has yet to really break out offensively in an entire season, but is still a pretty solid top six centerman. Yeah. This year in Sagan's absence, he has shown that he can produce offensively as he is just a few points under a point per game. But he is having. Yeah, and Dallas needs those like new players to start to bloom because Jamie Ben is shit at the moment, and I don't know what the fuck happened to Segin, but I hope they draft him him away from Dallas. His cap hit is too high, and he's not doing jack shit at the moment. And the, the, Jamie Ben and Segin didn't do anything last season and the season before that. Trade them. Not Jamie Ben, bro, but let's say Tyler again. Some issues staying healthy. If he can stay healthy and keep producing the way he has been so far this year, there's no doubt Vince is a bona fide second line centerman. Now the ninth best Finnish player on our list is Buffalo Sabres defenseman Rasmus Risto. What? Like Hints, Risto is a big bodied Finn, but this time on what? the line, he is a puck moving D man who has a bomb of a shot as well. These two strengths of his make him pretty effective on the power play. What? He's not afraid to play physically either. He can no. be a bit of a pest and likes to get some extra shots in when he can. From an offensive point of view, Ristolainen has been very consistent. Before the COVID-shortened season, he had four straight years of 40-plus points on a bad Sabres team. Defensively, this and last year... Funny thing is, they, saw, they showed a hit... He had four straight years of 40 plus points. Which was in the Fieras. <laughs> a bad Sabres team. Defensively, this and last season, he has been a lot more steady as the team has focused more on team defense instead of overwhelming Ristolainen with more than he could handle. Like many on this list, Ristolainen has seen success with Finland. I watched that game live. He that was a, a that was cool goal. goal. Under his belt from 2014. He and Essa Lindau anchored the Finns' blue line during this tournament, ultimately helping them win the final prize. In line with most European prospects, Ristolainen gained professional experience as a teenager in Finland before hopping the pond. Ideally, mm. Ristolainen plays on a middle pairing with power play time. Just don't do what Buffalo did and play him 26 minutes or more per night. He's a good defenseman. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a great argument that Buffalo played him too much. But he's still not as consistent defensive wise he as he is offensive wise. Like he does really dumb decisions on the defensive end of, of the ice. But mustn't be leaned on as heavily as Buffalo did. Made him look worse than he really is. No. At number eight, we have another defenseman and another Dallas star, S. Oh. Lindell. Lindell is a very steady defenseman. I had who that one also. Situations. He's very reliable defensively and has been a workhorse for the Stars. He hits, he blocks shots, he kills penalties, and he can put up 30 points. In my opinion, he's actually pretty underrated and is a big part of Dallas's success. Lindell, along with teammates John Klingberg and Miro Heiskanen, make for one of the best defense cores in the league. But Lindell kind of falls in their shadows since he isn't really that flashy. Internationally, Lindell has two medals to show for one gold junior medal in 2014 and the silver medal at the world championships in 2016. He never played in Liga until he had been drafted, but had a nice trajectory to get where he is now. His last year in Finland was especially impressive as he had 35 points and Yeah, it's it's actually kind of ironic that Dallas has like two of the best Finnish defenders and they're so polar opposite of each other like Miro Heiskanen is it's a mo Miro Heiskanen, if he keeps the, uh, getting better as he grows older, is a modern day Bobby Orr. 
and Esa Lindel is like a hangback defensive defender who just plays good hockey. 14 goals in 57 games. All in all, Lindell is a legit number two or three D-man that can do everything. Yeah, that's true. He can eat minutes if you need him to and will always be a reliable option. At 26, he is probably close to hitting a ceiling if he hasn't yet. If that's the case, like I said, he's still a very good D-man that many teams would love to have on their team. The next Finn at number seven is Hurricanes winger Toivo Teravainen. Okay. Teravainen is a playmaker with good vision, hands, and... I also had that one. He's creative, and his ability to make plays makes him a weapon on the power play, too. I had Teravainen on six. Points, but doesn't really ever get talked about. Not only can he produce offensively, but he is well-rounded, as he can play on the penalty kill, too, where he is also a threat to create scoring chances. From 2018 to now, Teravainen is tied for sixth in the league in shorthanded points. I think Teravainen has found success wherever he has played. He began playing in Liga at age 17. I think Teravainen is really underrated until he came to North as a Finnish player. He didn't have an amazing rookie year, but Chicago gave him up to Carolina in order to offload Brian Bickle's contract. Yikes. <laughs> However, in his time in Chicago, he did win a Stanley Cup and produced in the playoff run to get there. Like the others, Teravainen also nabbed the World Junior Gold Medal in 2014. A fucking as course. Teravainen has gotten better over the last few years, he has really solidified himself as a winger that can play on either the first or second line and produce close to or at a point per game pace. Given that he's 26 now, he is probably close to reaching his ceiling, but of course there's no way to officially predict that. That's Next true. up we've got the oldest guy on the list, goaltender Tuka Rask of the Boston Bruins. Oh. We all know Tuka Rask. The netminder has been a staple in the Bruins' goal for many years now. Part of what makes the Finns so good are his excellent reflexes and flexibility. I have to say that, like, you could argue that Corby Salo should be in the, in the list. And I agree. Like, Corby Salo and Tuka Rask, both, both of them are really good, really good goaltenders. But unfortunately, Tuka Rask ha has a lot more hardware to show. And that, that weighs on my scale, and I'm pretty sure it weighs on this guy's scale. That makes him able to make some saves other goalies can't. He plays a butterfly style and loves to compete. Being the oldest guy on this list, Rask is bound to have a lot more success over his career than the rest, and that he does. He's won a bronze on two occasions with Finland at the World Juniors and the Olympics. He's got a Vesna Trophy and Jennings Trophy, the two goalie awards awarded by the NHL. But... He's also won the biggest prize of them all, the Stanley Cup. Yeah, Even but he didn't play. <laughs> playoffs, will never be able to take that away from him. At the age of but 23, hey, 20 bucks Rask is 20 bucks. He certainly isn't getting any younger. Although his numbers so far this year haven't been the best, he has been one of the league's top goalies for a number of years now. Yeah. He's been a rock for Boston. You could definitely make the argument. Like, people argue that Carey Price is the best goalie in NHL. Gary Price doesn't have shit against Tuukka Rask. Like, I don't know how any legit NHL analyst would put Gary Price over Tuukka Rask. Like, Gary Price is so fucking overrated and also inconsistent and injury prone. That's Gary Price. Meant that he should be higher on this list but six is nothing to be ashamed of. Getting into the top five now, at number five, we have Patrick Laine. If there's any- Ah, okay, those are... I got my seven, six, and five all the wrong way around. Line, line of fifth? No. That we all know about one of Laine the best scorers in the league, yeah, no. He owns one of the best releases. He owns a very release no of release of shot, but that's the only thing he has. Better goal scorer, and just missed that mark by two last year due to the pandemic. This guy scores goals, plain and simple. He was selected second overall for a reason. For Is he balding already? Years of age, Line has a pretty solid amount of success at the international level. He dominated the World Juniors and led Finland to a gold in 2016. And he's won silver at the World Championships and the Under-18 World Juniors. 
In addition to all of this, he's also a Finnish Liga champion during a season where he led all Liga rookies in goals and points, won Rookie of the Year, and won the Yari Curry Award for the best player in the Liga playoffs. Laine is already a first-line goal-scoring winger at the age of 22. The thought that he could get even better is a bit of a scary thought for opposing teams. Yeah, yeah, but in order to line up to get better, there needs to be a lot. There needs to happen a lot of things, and Line needs to do a lot of things right in order for him to get better. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Apparently, four, it's Miro Heiskanen. Third and final Dallas star, Miro Heiskanen. Miro is a two-way defenseman who plays a calm yet confident game. He's a great and smooth skater, which aids him when he carries the puck up ice. Along with that... Uh, I think he's one of the best skaters in the league. I would go as far as to say... He, re he reminds me... Of, uh, his skating reminds me of a young Chris, uh, Chris Letang. Letang skating when he was... When he was in his prime was like... Was the best in the league. Like... Anybody who knows something about skating would agree with me he's got great vision and always makes the right decisions on the ice he does everything well and every team wants a defenseman like Haskinen. yeah People that's really true started to take notice of his ability in the playoff bubble where he was outstanding and even played at a point per game he wasn't outstanding he was fucking dominating every game unlike most of the other players on this list Haskinen surprisingly hasn't medaled at the world juniors that's he's true won a couple medals at the under 18 level and won the, one sec, Pekka Rautakallio Pekka Rautakallio Liga's best defenseman in 2018 at 18 years old. At just 21, Miro Heiskanen is already a legit top pairing defenseman. Just like Laine, there is still so much room for him to grow as a player. That's true. Which is insane to think about. This guy could easily be a Norris Trophy winner in the future, and it may not be terribly far away. His ceiling is of that level of Yossi or Hedman, two of the best defensemen in the world. Oh, that's a that's a strange comparison. Roman Josie and Victor Hetman. I would argue that he's gonna be better than John Carlson is, like offensive wise. And uh, defensive wise probably somewhere like Victor Hetman though. He's not as big as Victor Hetman. Like a John Carlson. Kicking off the top Scott Niedermeyer actually. In his prime. Rather than a number an three. Extremely talented playmaking winger with size. He has an elite combination of hockey sense, skill, and skating. He's elite and is one of the best wingers in the game today. In a normal That's true. Year, Rantanen should pretty much always be. And he's he's a huge human being. Six six foot four. Almost two twenty. Sticking with the theme, like pretty much everyone else on this list, Rantanen has achieved a gold medal for Finland in the World Juniors where he was solid on the second line, and a silver medal in the world championship. A lot of these players could... One thing I value about Rantanen is he knows that he needs to put on the work because people are relying for him. He stated in an interview that because I am paid the bit big bucks, I need to perform. You don't hear that much of that kind of a talk from top players like i value that a lot came up together so that explains a lot of the players having the same success internationally he has no nhl team or individual awards but that could easily change given how good he and his team is there is no question that rantanen is a first line winger that can produce offense he could walk onto pretty much every team's first line and would be quite a few teams best player in Colorado, McKinnon gets a ton of the praise, which is deserved, but people mustn't forget about Rantanen. He plays a big role for that team as well, and carries the load whenever McKinnon is out. Moving on to second place, we have another Hurricane in Sebastian Aho. Aho, in my opinion, is still an underrated player. He's a very smart centerman with two-way ability, and is a threat whenever he's on the ice. This is evident, as Aho is tied for second in the league in shorthanded points since the 2018-19 Aho is fucking incredible, considering he's like one of the smallest, smaller frame players. And you wouldn't believe it. 
the way he plays. Yes, Aho won the gold medal in the World Juniors and the silver medal at the World Championship. In the juniors, Aho centered that line with Line A that absolutely dominated the tournament, but didn't really receive as much praise as Line A or even Puyuyarvi. That's true. In addition to those awards, Aho is a Finnish Liga champion as well as a third place winner. At just 23 years old, Aho is already a legitimate first line centerman who can play in any situation. He's proven he's good to play at a point per game pace <laughs> and to be a threat on the penalty kill. Since he's still so young, there's still time for him to take his game to the next level, which is kind of crazy to think about because he is already a first-line center. He's a big reason. The, the funny reason, the fu funny thing about Aho is like, there's joy in his game. It's really fun to see him play. He's enjoying it. If he makes a cool thing, he smiles. He's like really, really happy doing it. I don't want to bash Lionel all the time, but if you watch Lionel play, you can see in his eyes that he's not enjoying it as much, especially if he's not doing well. Aho is happy for his teammates also. The same can't be said about Lionel. ...for Carolina's success, and lots of teams would love to have Aho on their team. Just ask the Montreal Canadiens. And the moment you've all been waiting for... The That's true. ...ranked Finnish player is none other than Panthers captain Alexander Barkov. We have the same number Sasha one. is one of the best two-way centermen in the league that can also play in wings. Alexander Barkov is one of the best centermen in the league. I would argue he's top five center in the league. Like all of, all, all of the centers, all of the nationalities, he's a top five center. Situation. He can score, he can make plays, he has slick hands, he can cause turnovers, he can play on the penalty kill, he's poised, the list goes on. He should probably get more Selkie consideration than he does, but that could be due to playing for a small market, such as the Panthers, but he should always be in that conversation every year anyways. Unlike the vast majority of he's the so teams, fucking Barkov good. actually never medaled at the World Juniors. However, he does have that silver from the World Championship and a bronze at the Olympics for Finland. He's also been a runner-up for the Liga Championship and has a Lady Bing trophy for the most gentlemanly conduct in the NHL. Oh my fucking like god, that's a, earlier, that's a cool goal. Have a trophy, I don't care if it's against Bing, but for one, fuck you, Carey Price. Barkov is a franchise centerman, no doubt about it. Yeah. He is so solid in his own end and causing turnovers, but also has the skill and offensive ability to put up over a point per game. There aren't many players who can play to that level. Bar Barkov is so fucking good, it looks like he isn't even trying. Like, it's so effortless, effortless his playing style. Like, he's just fucking gliding. It seems, it's, it seems like he doesn't make any mistakes because he's always positions himself like the perfect way. His hockey IQ is on another level. That's the reason why he's the top five center of all of NHL. But Barkov sure is one of them. Not to mention, he is the captain of the Panthers, meaning he brings a leadership presence to the locker room. When you get and he's paid fucking five millions a season. He should be getting McDavid money. Alexander Barkov, you get the whole package. But Barkov did he want the big big deal because he want want the Florida to have the possibility to make the team better around him. You so can't do that anymore. Okay, so our list was almost similar. Like, I didn't ha have Rasmus Ristolainen, and he didn't have Jonas Donskoy. So I'm going to put there as uh, just uh, like this. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm not arguing against this list. Like, you could shift the players around the way you, any way you want to, especially the top five players. Except line, a line shouldn't be on the top five. But you can shift like the top play four players any way you want to. I had, I had Barkov number one, Rantanen number two, Heiskanen number three, Aho number four. He had Barkov, Aho, Rantanen, Heiskanen, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Now I want to see one thing before we end this discussion. Let's go. So. Positions, 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 where are you?
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what? Why can't I fucking see it? So summary report. No. Oh, they, here we go. Centers. I wouldn't. I wouldn't count Drysaitel as a center, so I'm not including him. So Connor McDavid, Austin Matthews, David, Nathan McKinnon, Sidney Crosby. Yeah. Okay, so Connor McDavid and Sidney Crosby is number one and two. Either way you want to put them, but they're number one and two. Nathan McKinnon actually could be also, so that's number top three. Nathan McKinnon, Connor McDavid, and Sidney Crosby. Austin Matthews, Alexander Barkov. That's my top five centers. Connor Mac uh, it hurts me to say I'm I'm not giving Connor McDavid number one because he hasn't won won anything. And with anything I mean Stanley Cup. So Sidney Crosby is number one. Connor McDavid number two, Nathan McKinnon number three, uh, Alexander Barkov number four, and Austin Matthews number five. That's the top four, uh, top five centermen at the moment.